Hi, everybody. My name is Arno, Senior Technical Artist. And I'm Julian, 3D Technical Artist. In this video series, we'll present to you the easiest way to develop an interactive HMI with the QT tools. In this video, we will learn how we can use some of the more advanced features of Figma and utilize them inside of the Qt Design Studio. One of these features is the capability to build variants. In our design file, you can now see we have these different variants for our buttons. When we go to our layout, we can see that it looks just like any other layout. Now we will export that. After our export is finished, we can now go into the Design Studio. Here we will create a new project. While importing your file to the Design Studio, your different variants inside of the, your design will automatically co be converted to different states. See that we will go directly into the component. In our case, this will be the map button. Here we can already see in our state menu that we have different states. We could work on our states in the base state, so all our changes will be applied to the different states, or we can work on them separately. In our case, we want to use the base state first. So here we will search for a switch button. Then we can just drag it to our map button. Now we can see a switch button will be applied to our map button. We can adjust the size of the, and then we can already see that it's applied to the different states. We only need this switch in our logic, so we will hide its appearance. Now the only thing we need to do is to set up our logic. For that we will click here on that button. Select our switch. Checked. Okay. And the same for the second state. But in this case, we want to switch to be not checked to apply to that state. After that, we can test our logic. So we can now see here our little button. And when we click, we will change the state. Thank you, Julian. Now let's talk about auto layouting. It's a very uh, impressive feature on Figma. I created a couple of buttons, title, subtitle, a text, uh, different uh, rectangles. So now let's open um, our uh, exporter, press on export, and let's open Design Studio to so create a new document. We press on the plus button and import our tests. Right now we can open the new file. First of all, let's have a look on the structure of the navigator. Design Studio generated a rectangle and a column layout. 
colon layout is a QML component. We can retrieve it on the positioner library. So what's the goal of these two components is to allow you to modify the spacing for row layout, it's horizontally, and for column layout, vertically. You can modify it on the right panel, on the desk view, or on the QML. And uh, let's have a look on the rectangle. You can see on the QML that we import all the anchors from Figma. And again, we can modify it on the 2D view or directly on the QML. Let's make a test. I imported three buttons. Let's modify the size of the button number one. If I modify the size of the rectangle, we note that the text move according to the new size of the rectangle. About ordering, it's not a dynamic ordering, but we can modify it directly on the navigator. And last point, the stroke management is not perfect. Um, I recommend to you to work with internal stroke on Figma before exporting. The last thing we want to introduce to you is a feature that's not quite there yet. Figma only recently started to introduce their variable feature. And our R&D team is focusing on implementing that feature to our bridge as well. In Figma, you are now able to create different variables to enhance your control over your design. With this feature, it is now possible to create variables of color, string, number, and boolean. For these variables, you can now create different modes. The last thing you need to do is to connect these variables to your assets. Now you are able to create different color themes, light and dark mode, and make it possible to adjust your design to different branding with just one click. Our goal is to import this information with our bridge plugin to get the same flexibility into our workflow. To have a little look into these variables, we can now look into our Figma file. If we want to introduce variables, we just need to click on this local variables here. Then we can already see we can create variables and we can create different modes. We can also see what changes will be applied to your variables in the different modes. After that, you can go to your color, for example, and with this library button, apply one of these variables. With this little icon, you can see how the different modes change your design. We wish you a happy learning experience and we will provide you with different links in the video description.